Rusi, 4th of April 2024, What Motivates China's Reticence Regarding the Pakistan-Afghanistan War China employs Pakistan as a proxy army to exert control over Afghanistan and launch offensives against India. Nevertheless, China is apprehensive about potentially alienating India due to the terrors the Chinese-occupied Uyghur region may expose. Pakistan launched airstrikes within Afghanistan on March 18, targeting the hideouts of the tehreek i taliban Pakistan TTP, also known as the Pakistani Taliban. This proscribed terrorist organization operated from Afghanistan with greater autonomy during the Taliban regime. A day after President Asif Ali Zardari pledged retaliation for the deaths of seven Pakistani soldiers in an attack on March 16 by a faction of the tehreek i taliban Pakistan TTP, in the country's northwestern tribal region bordering Afghanistan, the strikes that claimed eight lives occurred. Afghanistan-Pakistan airstrikes by Pakistan targeted areas in Afghanistan, exacerbating tensions between Kabul and Islamabad that have been escalating since the Taliban seized power in 2021, primarily because of TTP cross-border assaults using Afghan territory. Following a strong condemnation of the strikes as a transgression against the territorial integrity of Afghanistan, the Afghan Taliban retaliated swiftly against Pakistani military outposts situated along the Afghanistan-Pakistan border. The Taliban might support the tehreek i taliban Pakistan TTP, to destabilize the South Asian nation through a series of terrorist attacks as a long-term retaliatory measure. China, being the foremost foreign investor in both Afghanistan and Pakistan, stands to be significantly impacted by an open conflict between the two neighboring countries. However, it has maintained a neutral stance regarding the 18th of March airstrikes conducted by Pakistan, which specifically targeted Derek Taliban Pakistani sanctuaries in the eastern provinces of Paktika and Coast. Beijing has thus far depended on Pakistan in the development of its policy towards Afghanistan. China, whereas Pakistan is maintaining a distance from the Taliban, is approaching the organization and has even begun to recognize its authority. The pivotal factor in fostering closer ties between China and the Taliban was Pakistan. Islamabad clandestinely facilitated all peace consultations between China and the Taliban via backdoor channels well in advance of the 2020 Doha peace talks between the United States and the Taliban. Maulana Samuel Haq, a Pakistani leader of an Islamist political party and ardent supporter of the Afghan Taliban, requested that China increase its involvement in the Afghan peace negotiations in October 2018. The Maulana, widely recognized as the father of the Taliban, extended an invitation to Beijing to serve as an arbitrator in the Afghan conflict. China and Pakistan urged the Taliban, at the time of their takeover of Afghanistan after the United States withdrawal in 2021, to initiate a retaliatory campaign against Uyghur militants and the tehreek i taliban Pakistan TTP. This organization operates in Afghanistan and has been implicated in assaults against Chinese and Pakistani targets in Pakistan. However, China and Pakistan appear to be at odds regarding the Taliban's policy towards the tehreek i taliban Pakistan TTP, at this time. The TTP card is in the hands of the Taliban, who are utilizing it against Pakistan rather than China. Beijing did not pressure the Taliban to carry out the TTP crackdown that Kabul has been pleading with Pakistan to carry out for the last two years. The Taliban has given China assurances over the threat posed by Uyghur extremists, which has been China's primary concern. It is noteworthy that the TTP has refrained from targeting Chinese installations in Pakistan over the last two years despite a surge in assaults against Pakistani security forces. Does the entire strategy of selective terrorism center on the Taliban regime headquartered in Kabul? A secret understanding between China and the Taliban regarding the TTP? Have the Taliban instructed the TTP to refrain from attacking Chinese targets in Pakistan? The Taliban considers the tehreek i taliban Pakistan an internal matter, and China's lack of comment regarding the TTP's aggression against Pakistan indicates that it supports the Taliban's stance on the TTP. During the previous two years, despite the TTP dispute generating animosity and gunfire across the frontier between Pakistan and the Taliban, China has maintained its efforts to strengthen diplomatic relations with the Taliban regime. Furthermore, China has exhibited a lack of rebuke towards the Taliban's accommodation of TTP militants in Afghanistan. Additionally, there is another aspect to the story. China's absence of comment regarding Pakistan's airstrikes in Afghanistan may be indicative of its carrot-and-stick strategy about the Taliban. Due to security considerations, China, which shares a narrow frontier with Afghanistan, 
cannot afford to provoke the Taliban in its vicinity. Concern for political reforms, violations of women's rights, and the Taliban government's prohibition on girls' education has been comparatively diminished in China. The primary concern lies in the internal security threat posed by Uyghur militants, who may find inspiration and assistance from an antagonistic Taliban regime situated in its vicinity. Beijing has escalated its military involvement in Afghanistan in accordance with its approach to engaging the Taliban. It is possible for China to exert more influence and financial resources in the internationally isolated and deserted nation. It reached agreement after agreement with the de facto Taliban regime regarding the utilization of Afghanistan's abundant mineral and energy reserves subsequent to the United States' withdrawal in 2021. Three months after finalizing a $540 million hydrocarbon extraction agreement with the Taliban government in the Amu Darya Basin located in northern Afghanistan the previous year, China extended an offer of $10 billion in investment to exploit the expansive lithium reserves of the nation. On January 30, China officially designated former Taliban spokesman Bilal Karimi as an envoy to Beijing through a formal ceremony. The acknowledgement by China of the Taliban envoy is consistent with its approach of fostering dialogue with the group, in contrast to the Western stance that seeks to isolate the organization due to its scrutiny of women's liberties and rights. Beijing has adopted a more prudent approach in managing its Afghan card after the United States withdrawal in 2021. Nevertheless, through its recognition of the Taliban envoy, China has effectively mitigated the organization's worldwide seclusion, thereby ensuring a significant diplomatic triumph for itself. The Afghan endgame has become a zero-sum scenario for Islamabad. China must ensure that Pakistan does not become a refuge for the TTP, a position it has supported by the United States, which has urged the Taliban to prevent Afghanistan from becoming a haven for the terrorist organization. Some Pakistani circles have advocated for the United States to assist in the bombardment of terrorist hideouts in Afghanistan. A former minister in the provincial government of Pakistan proposed that the United States utilize its drone bases to target militant sanctuaries in Afghanistan in the wake of a December 2023 attack that killed 23 Pakistani soldiers and security forces. A scenario of this nature would be deemed intolerable by China. China is highly concerned about the Taliban's policy of protection for the TTP, an organization with closer ideological ties to the Taliban. The greatest security challenge to China's plan to extend the $62 billion China-Pakistan Economic Corridor CPEC, the flagship project of its Belt and Road Initiative, to Afghanistan is the prevalence of TTP hideouts in Afghanistan's border regions with Pakistan. For this reason, China has established enhanced relations with neighboring countries and security as prerequisites for granting the Taliban government complete diplomatic recognition from Beijing. It is improbable that Pakistan executed airstrikes against TTP strongholds without establishing a relationship of trust with China beforehand. China can exert pressure on both nations to resolve their differences amicably by utilizing its leverage over them, given that neither can afford to disregard Beijing's demands for restraint. China stands to lose the most in a conflict between Pakistan and Afghanistan if it fails to de-escalate tensions along their shared frontier. Failing to do so could jeopardize its multi-billion dollar ambitions to expand the China-Pakistan Economic Corridor CPEC, beyond Afghanistan. Afghanistan is strategically situated to facilitate trade between Europe, Central Asia, and the Middle East. Afghanistan is a strategic base for China to extend its global influence.